Good morning, fire catchers. This is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and you are watching the weekly, your weekly worship encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. Today, I want to show you a tip, the tip that will help you do any flagging move, no matter how complicated it is. And then I actually will show you uh, what is called the windmill, but also what I have uh, called the presence, and I'll explain why. Uh, this morning, I have been thinking about some scriptures in the last little in the last few weeks, actually, this has come up before, uh, and I and I think that it's there's a se there's we're into a new season, and here is what the scripture it says: it's Psalm 68, 11 and 12. Uh, God Almighty declares the word of the gospel with power, and the warring women of Zion deliver its message. The conquering legions have themselves been conquered. Look at them flee. Now Zion's women are left to gather the spoils. That has a lot of connotations, and it's not just uh, the spiritual warfare, but I actually think that we're seeing a resurgence of what women are being able to do. We see how the enemy is actually confusing, and we come, I don't want to harp on the, on the transgender or the um, homosexuality. Uh, it's not even about that, but I believe that that's actually something that the enemy is trying to con confuse because the Lord has actually been at work to redeem and reverse all of the curses and one of the curse from the garden of uh, in the garden of eden was actually that women would be subservient to men and so he's actually reversing the lord is the greatest equalizer between men and women between a slave and master between jew and gentile that there is no divisions with him and um, but this is a season that we are seeing more and more women we're seeing more and more women come into leadership in the church we're seeing more and more women come into leadership in uh, in commerce and in business and so just what is it that you uh, the Lord has called you to do and where are you going and what are you going to do with that and so I want you to consider that for the next little while see if that suits, sits in your spirit um, and what what kind of spoils are you bringing back because what I love about verse 12 it actually says that now the women's are, are left to gather the spoils and the idea is that they disperse it so we know that as women that we we get and then we give we get and we give um and so that comes that comes the lord has designed us that way so it's time that we're going to rise up the other things that i wanted to talk to you about the fire catchers recharge we have actually renamed it from retreat because fire catchers don't retreat we recharge uh and this if you have any questions about the event coming up in July 4th to the 7th, I want to be able to answer those questions. I've been getting a lot of questions uh, and I want to just give you so much more information. So we're going to dedicate an entire live for that. So that's coming up at 4 o'clock right here in this channel. Another thing I want to know, let you know that if you are selling a braiding, ew, if I could speak, if you are celebrating a birthday, we want to celebrate you like royalty. So there is a brand new uh, uh, giveaway that or, or options that we're doing. So there's a link. I want you to sign up and let us know when your birthday is and then you'll be surprised. I promise you'll be surprised. All right, so the other thing, in our in our group, if you're not part of the Fire Catchers group, I didn't put the link, maybe Rosie, can you just add the link there? If you're not in the Fire Catchers group, you are missing out on some great conversations, uh, great fellowship, communication, prayer, all that. We post a lot of videos, uh, and one of our members, one of our Fire Catchers had, was, has been trying to do this, it's a, kind of a complicated flagging move. Uh, it's called the, it is called the windmill. But I want to, I actually, I actually dub that, that flagging movement as the presence and you'll see why it's, it's, you're enveloped in the presence um, when you use this move. I'm going to try to spread out. I want to show you, uh, hang on just one second as I get my flags. I'm going to show you first in using a single and then I'm going to show you what it looks like with a, with a multi-layer. Uh, it gets a little bit more com complex just because of all of the flat, the fabric involved, but not impossible. You can do this. Okay. But the one tip that you actually need to know, regardless of whatever flagging movement that you are doing, the tip, the number one tip is everything is a figure eight movement, everything. So if you're, I'm going to just back up so I won't be able to 
read your comments at this point. Um, so if you are doing, let me just show you. If you're doing to the side, it's still, it's still a figure eight movement, if you can see. See, I'm doing up and down. And even if you go up, it's still a very fine figure eight movement. Okay, so that's the number one tip. But here, if you, let me just put this between my legs. Okay, so the windmill, or the presence, I like to call it the presence, so this is what it'll look like. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working towards. Okay, so here, I just want to show you what the what your hands are going to be doing without flags. Okay, so it's again, it's a figure eight movement, and and the presence is because you're you're enveloped in his presence. It becomes the figure eight movements are very your hands are very close, but this is also really what it is. It's just you start to move your hands a lot closer and closer until your wrists are actually touching, okay? So let me come back. Hey, Angel. Cannot believe that our children are graduating. <laughs> okay, so this is what your, your hands look like, okay? So this one is doing this. This one is doing this as well, okay? Can you? You're flipping your hands one over the other at the same time using a twisting motion, okay? So this wouldn't, if I have one flag in my hand, it's very difficult with to show you so that it's effective on a little live, okay? So this is what it looks like. Can you see what my wrist is doing? And then the other one does this, okay? So let me see if you can, can you see what my wrists are doing? Sort of, with all this fabric. Okay, without them, this is what it looks like. Okay, it's, and so to practice, to get really good at this movement, is just keep your hands, your arms a lot wider, and then as you get comfortable with that, you start to bring them in. So you can do it above your head. You can go all the way around. Okay. My battery's low. This sucks so much better. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I hope I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you have more fabric. So Here's a triple layer flag set. It's just a lot more fabric. Same movement, same movement. Now, what <laughs> you are going to have a stronger hand all the time. So all of us are right-handed or left-handed, not very many of us are ambidextrous. If you are, you got a, you have a, uh, an advantage over the rest of us. So this is what I would do, and then you have to switch it. And even I have to think about it if I am moving. Okay, so this is what I what I normally do, and this is the opposite way. It feels a little strange in your hand, just like if you're doing any of that. Hey there, Marion. It must be getting pretty hot there in, in Houston, right? In Houston or Dallas, it's hot there. It's a little cool here still. Anyway, that is the the presence. We call it, I call it the presence because you are really wrapped and enveloped in all of that fabric. It just takes practice, but your number one tip is always that it is a figure eight movement. So if you remember that, you'll be able to do any of those moves. So bless you guys. I will see you guys at four o'clock for the recharge. Get all your questions answered. Uh, and if you have any questions and you can't be there, just post them, either message me or post them on, um, in the group or here. 
uh, in the events anywhere. I will find them, I will get them, and I will make sure that I'm answering your questions live. Okay, have a great day, guys. See you soon. Bye.